Cancer, welcome back. We are going to flip some cards for you tonight and see what's going on with you and the person on your mind. See what could be happening, what guidance you might need. See if we can peek in their brain a little bit here. One more shuffle. Okay, source for Cancer. What is the main energy of this spread? All righty. Let's see what we have. Okay, so walking on. There is something that led you to move out of a situation that you emotionally needed to detach from. You are still very much up in your head about it, but it was very conflicting. Vibes are always conflict of some sort, whether they're good or bad for your, you know, for your benefit or not. It's being impatient, however. So let's see. What is the energy of cancer right now. What's your energy like? Nine of rods. So you're trying to let go of things that were hurtful. You're very indecisive. You could have felt that somebody else was very indecisive. We definitely see that there was an end of a situation. Let's get their energy. Okay. So they're Cancer's person's energy, please. Ooh, they're stubborn. Okay. All right. Well, we have the Queen of Swords reversed. So this person right now is being a complete asshole or bitch, which is ever most appropriate for you. This person can be cruel. They can be deceptive, I mean, kind of wicked, sexually cold, emotionally, just not available. Let's get one more. Keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, okay? With the four, I believe that is of coins. Yes. Okay. So, they're holding their stance on how they feel. Oh, that's the emperor, my bad. They're holding their stance, how they feel. They're very... Stoic. There is no emotion can be an Aries that you are dealing with. Is this the person that you moved on from? They are not open to anything. Keep in mind, can be vice versa. There was a breakup. That's your mutual energy. That's a bunch of crap. Okay. What's coming for cancer that they don't see? Okay, three of pentacles and the world. Okay. So some of these were willing to work with you on a new situation. This feels like it just went poof, gone. Residual energy. What's coming your direction? You're up in your head. You're taking a break. There is somebody that you're looking at. Can be somebody at the workplace. With the world, one cycle is done. It's success. It's done, 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 done. You fulfilled that crap. It's birthing a new cycle. It's something new coming. Bottom of the deck, we have the six of rods. That's feeling successful. That's having suitors. That's having people, all eyes on you. So that's what you have coming. Ooh. It's going to be a quick reading. Who might be coming towards Cancer. Okay, two of cups. Could be a relationship coming. Followed with your own damn card, Cancer. So you could be dealing with another Cancer, but you have somebody coming, can be also a water sign. Like yourself, heavy on the water sign here. Hmm. What's the potential outcome here? potential outcome there's definitely people that are seeing you and have their eyes on you uh, <laughs> big time oh yes we have the queen of cups heavy on the water there's going to be an offer of some emotions and it's going to be something that you intuitively know when you feel this person coming your direction bottom of the deck Ooh. Ace of Wands, sexual energy, very much into you. Okay, so what advice do we have for Cancer besides get out of your damn head? 
Let's see what we have. Manifest new things. Look at this. You have the Knight of Pentacles, so take your time. Manifest what you want. You can have any damn thing that you want. After you drop some of that other crappy energy, take your time. That's what I'm getting for you. We are going to go Aries through Pisces and see specific signs what that person could be thinking or feeling. Pretty straightforward with your cards tonight. Okay, I'm going to grab this deck. All right, Cancer dealing with an Aries. What is that person thinking? All right. Ooh. Well, they're holding back a little bit, but it is definitely so, yeah. Somebody that has interest in you can be that they feel a strong connection. They want to offer something, or they want you to offer something. They can see being with you can be a Gemini. can be any sign really here. But the Aries looks pretty damn sweet. They're holding back a little bit, or feel that you are. So that's what we have for Aries. I will switch decks when we get to Libra. Okay. Two more. And there they are. Okay, Taurus. The Taurus mm, also can be a Leo. They're argumentative. There could have been a third-party situation here. Um, the Three of Pentacles usually is people working together, but with the Five of Wands, it can be competition. Strength reversed. They're, they're not holding back. Mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. It's almost like they're argumentative and shitty. I mean, they have a strong personality. While also can be a Taurus, can have another sign. But they're really... Uh -uh. I'm going to say be careful with this one because they really have uh, temper. Uh -huh. Okay, moving on to Gemini. One more. All right. The Gemini also can be an Aries. They do not like the way things ended. They could be feeling apologetic. They're very much trying to figure out how to structure a potential return because they do not like the way things went down. They're up in their head trying to figure out, bottom of the deck, how to come in your direction, how to possibly make an apology because they are seeing you very single and able to take care of yourself. So no action at this time, but very much pondering what to do about you. Okay, Cancer dealing with another Cancer. One more. Okay. Definitely interested. Can be somebody from your past. They are looking for a balance. Extremely much so. Can be very slow as fuck. Very much so. But the Queen of Wands, they're feeling like, yeah, I want to go for this. Make things more balanced. Can be a Libra. They are very much, you both can be thinking a lot of each other and really taking a time out just to see what you really want, what's best. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles. Worth putting effort into. So that looks pretty damn nice. Okay, moving on to Leo. You are dealing with a Leo. Okay. The Leo is not, they're not coming your direction any, any time soon. Whatever they had been balancing, whether it be more than one person or not, they're not, they're not moving forward. This is very stagnant energy. They see you as the queen of swords. It's like they wouldn't even dare come into your direction. You're pissed off. Three of Wands reversed. Now, this person can be at a distance from you, but it's an emotional distance too. When the Three of Wands comes reversed, it's usually expect something unexpected. They might try to you know, come in your direction, and it might take you back a little bit that you're not even, whoa, where did this come from? Mm -hmm. Can be at the bottom of the deck. Can be somebody from your past trying to make a return just so that you are aware of that. Two of Pentacles when reversed is something that if they were juggling two people, they got busted. But there's hesitation. There isn't any compromise here. It is not a commitment type of situation. So be careful. All right, moving on to Virgo. Virgo. 
Please do give a thumbs up, like the video, help promote the channel. I so enjoy doing this and I would appreciate if you could do that to help get the videos out circulating more. All right, quite a few cards for this one. Okay, very much a lot of holding back, okay. They're not ready for anything emotional at all. Can be also a Taurus, but they're they're defensive. They're letting go of a situation, and they they don't even want to talk about this. It's like something that could have, could have been very dishonest, a big happening in their lives, and they're just not ready for anything. They're taking some time to themselves to try to heal, to try to think about what means the most to them. I think the Virgo needs a little bit of space. They do have love. So moving past what they have going on, it... They're, they're stuck right now. They will be ready, but just not now. That's going to take a little bit of time. All right, switching decks. Oh, let's see. Let's play with this one. Okay, for the Libra. It's the Libra thinking. Okay, well, they're already kind of a narcissistic ass. I don't want to use narcissistic. I mean, it's not always narcissistic, but... Eight of Wands, you will be hear hearing from this person. You will be hearing from them. They do feel that they have something to offer. They see you in a very affectionate way. Also can be that they see that you're very intuitive and caring. But the King of Pentacles with, we'll say, their personality. Also can just be an earth sign. Let's just put that in there. We don't always like to have negative crap. But they can be a little bit greedy with their emotions little uncertain with their emotions. Um, it's, it, you can feel a little bit lonely with that type of person. Bottom of the deck, five of pentacles. <sighs> Maybe hold back, see what they have to offer. Five of pentacles is if this person that you have been in a relationship with, they're holding back. You feel ghosted. This is feeling abandoned by somebody. Five of swords right next to it. Mm -mm. Too, min too much arguing, but they're still coming at you and acting like they love you, but very conflicting energy. Are they nuts? I think they're nuts. I think they're nuts. They're all nuts. All right, Scorpio. There's a Scorpio thinking, feeling, any direction forward. we have okay so we have temperance reverse they are impatient right now very much five of cups feeling sorry about a situation quite defensive bottom of the deck but they care about you next card up is the magician i think this person needs some time i mean they're feeling defensive they're very, they're up into this pity party and they're not trying to work on healing at this time. Mm -mm. But there is emotion and affection here. It's another one that just seems to need a little bit of time. I'm going to take those and put those two back in the deck. Okay, I'm going to go to Sag. Let's have two more shuffles. One and two. Two pentacles is peeping out. Okay, let's go. Let's rock it. Sag. Okay. Okay, so they have sexual interest in you. This is something small. It's starting out with texty texty. They're an honest type person. I mean, I do see that they could be someone to commit. Get one more. Okay. How they view you. <laughs> they, you know, they could be taking you wrong. I, I have this feeling that they don't know how to take you. Okay, so this is somebody new. They don't know, can be an Aries, can just be that simple. Taurus, Aries. They want to come your direction. This is new beginning, new beginning, itty bitty little, ooh, I have a crush on you type situation. 
I don't think they know how to take you. It's almost like you've got this dry sense of humor and they're clueless. So, I mean, they, there could be some movement forward with that one. I think you're, <laughs> I think you're confusing them. Stop it. Capricorn. All right, for Capricorn. Okay, so end of a situation. Three major arcana. Nope, two major arcana. Yeah. Okay, so this could have been a breakup. They're holding back emotionally, but they want to offer you their rod. I'd maybe be a little bit careful with that one. Could lead to uh, some mental manipulation and some not-so-nice behavior. I mean, if you're okay with just having a little hippity-hop and out the door they go, so be it. But it's not somebody that's going to stick around. Can be a Leo. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Libra, Scorp, Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius. Aquarius. So we have the High Priestess Reverse. We have the Four of Pentacles, Star Reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So this is almost like this kind of like doggy donor type person. They hold on tightly to their emotions, heavy on the Aquarius. The High Priestess keeps things to themselves. They don't share things. They can be a little bit of full of shit. Star Reverse is just this mopey person. They've been disappointed. They've been abandoned. But they want to offer you something. So this person could come around. Ooh, two cups on the bottom of the deck. It does feel like they've had their share. Who hasn't? Of crap. They are very leery about offering their heart. But they and they want a uh, you know they want a nice balance, but they do seem like they would be good relationship material. That's what we have for Aquarius and Pisces. Okay, we got four for Pisces, four of Swords, three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, ugh, and the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Well, this could have been a toxic situation. It can be resisting changes and anxious about a situation. They took a break from things. They're very much feeling alone. This person is watching you, but they aren't ready to come forward anytime soon for sure. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck can be somebody from your past. They're watching. They're definitely watching. I'm only going to stick this in there because of the fact that the Six of Cups came out. The Three of Pentacles. It could have been a third party situation and they did it to them damn selves. Okay. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, that is what I have for you, Cancer. Please do give a thumbs up, like the video, help circulate and promote the channel. Much appreciated. Thank you for watching and many blessings.